Hi, it's DeWire, and it is Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. Let's talk crypto. This is a free video for free members of my Substack page where we discuss crypto. DeWire70905.substack.com For more advanced conversations on crypto, I hope you consider becoming a paid member of that site. Right now, please do not consider anything I say in this video, which will be short, to be investment advice. Rather, I'm just sharing with you what I'm pursuing and considering and or considering. Now, crypto exchanges are getting pinched. Famed short seller, Jim Chanos, you might recall him from the Enron debacle, where he revealed corporate fraud. Jim Chanos is skeptical of Coinbase. He calls it flatly a bubble stock. He's not alleging fraud here, but he notes that increased competition among exchanges is leading to price compression. Chanos does not believe that Coinbase can be profitable this year. He contends that their revenue base is only 3 to 4% of their custodian assets. On a different note, more important to me, eight American states have now notified Voyager Digital, a stock I like and have spoken of in the past on my Substack site, that Voyager's interest-bearing products might not be legal. Now, for me, personally, this is a tragedy because the company posted revenue of $164.8 million in the last quarter, up 4,400% from the year before. Now, Voyager is in talks with the eight states, but let's be clear here. Given the regulatory uncertainty, I'm backing away from the stock for now. I'll revisit it once we get clarity. Speaking of exchanges, I know there's a big issue, and it's huge, when it comes to staking Ethereum. Right? People have been told that they have to lock up their Ethereum stake for a long period of time until events in the future happen. The release of Ethereum 2.0 where the release date is a bit uncertain. It's been difficult staking Ethereum. But now, one of my favorite sites, and I'm not a paid spokesman, I'm just someone who has been around a few exchanges. One of my favorite sites, Uphold.com, now makes it easy to stake Ethereum. All you have to do if you have Ethereum on the site, is hit a staking button and follow directions. And they'll give you passive income equal to 4.25% APY, right? Annually on a yearly basis, right? That staking capability is not in the future. It's not a concept. Folks, it's available right now on Uphold.com. Understand, Uphold.com will soon allow other coins to be staked on its platform. I'm not going to mention any of those coins because, as I said earlier here, I like to deal with actual results, what's available today, not on promises. Today, this minute, as I make this video, 
you can stake Ethereum for 4.25% on Uphold.com. I believe it's worth a look. Another favorite exchange of mine is Binance.us. Note that they are now ending some of their programs. I got an email from them advising me that I could no longer stake some Cosmos that I've been staking on that site with them because they're ending the Cosmos staking program. I was surprised by this because I haven't seen it anywhere else. If you have been staking coins on Binance.us and have quietly heard from them that they're discontinuing that program, please let our subscribers here know by telling us about it in the comment section of this video. Just understand that you can no longer stake or they're phasing out the program. I think I have a few more weeks here. Cosmos on Binance.us. Please do your own research. Finally, let me point out that because of the way the market is shaking out, I believe Solana, which has been great in the past, but like much of crypto, has been in a bit of a recession the last few weeks. I believe Solana is back on the launching pad. It's a level one proof of stake crypto. Now understand, you know my thesis, at least paid subscribers do, on my Substack site. The public is greatly undervaluing the value of decentralized proof-of-work cryptos like Bitcoin, which is a personal favorite, right? In my opinion, Bitcoin should be much higher than it is right now. But the public doesn't seem to appreciate the fact that the proof-of-work ecosystem involving miners and far greater decentralization than proof-of-stake is vastly superior. So for now, while Bitcoin continues to flourish, right, but for now, it has serious competition from proof-of-stake cryptos like Solana. And let me just point out that Solana is back in the saddle I'm expecting it to have a very good rest of the year on balance. Now, right now, let's name an innovative exchange, Kraken. An exchange, by the way, that now has the Lightning Network for the Bitcoin community. Right, so you're getting the speed. What people don't understand is that the Lightning Network negates the difference in speed between the Bitcoin network and these altcoins, right? I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I'm into altcoins. But I understand Bitcoin's technological superiority. Well, let me just say that on Kraken right now, this minute, you can easily stake Solana. Again, you just have Solana on the site. They give you the staking option. You hit the button and you will get passive income at least every week. Right? Just food for thought. Now, let's say you don't want to be responsible for having accounts on exchanges. There are too many variables, right? The exchanges have some differences. You heard me here talk about staking particular cryptos on Uphold and on Kraken and how Binance is shutting down staking. Let's say it's just too much for you. You want things a lot more easy. You want you know, to be able to delegate everything to one entity that has a legal responsibility to make you whole if something goes wrong. 
Well, right now, Grayscale has a Solana trust. Now, we're talking about the trust that's dedicated solely to Solana. Right? I know there's another trust that has other cryptos thrown in that Solana is a part of with Grayscale. But if you want to limit this particular investment to Solana, just understand that Grayscale, on November 18th of last year, opened up a Solana trust. Now, as I mentioned, Solana was in a bit of a recession. The Grayscale Trust, according to the Grayscale site, Grayscale.com is down 33.33% since its November 2021 inception. The assets under management in Grayscale Solana Trust is small. It's just $12.8 million in assets under management. Right. My point to you is if you want to take your hands off the wheel, and have a company do all of the custodial work. The Grayscale Solana Trust is an excellent way to do it. Understand, most of Grayscale's assets are held in cold storage. In other words, offline, where online hackers don't have access to it. Understand, Grayscale has been set up under New York banking laws. This is a legal entity. The Grayscale Solana Trust is an excellent way to get exposure to Solana's upside without having to rely on individual exchanges to provide you with custodial services, and staking services. That's how I see it. I hope you leave your message or your comments in the comment section to this YouTube video for me and for other subscribers here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.